Hey guys, welcome to game four between Exit and Dentarg. We have Exit starting in the upper right hand corner as the yellow Terran. We have Dentarg starting at the six o'clock ish location as the gray Protoss. This is on Power Bond. And again, Exit on the verge of elimination needs to win this match to keep his finals hopes alive. If Exit pulls this match, he will be advancing to a finals berth for Chobo League. So here's one thing. I'm wondering if Exit, upon attempting that cheese and failing, is going to play this a little bit more. I'm going to honestly just kind of playing the typical game that he plays, where it's a little bit looser of the build order, looking for opportunities and then capitalizing on it as opponents provide it. If he just plays into that, if he'll end up winning in the match. Because I got to say, thus far, that has been Dentarg's MO. When Dentarg wins games, it's because he's playing really precisely he's going for interesting macro games and able to close them out and just keep keep the momentum rolling and when he's lost games it's because he's yeah had those critical mistakes had those moments of vulnerability where his opponents uh, jumped on him and capitalized him either th through uh factory pushes that have ended up on his natural expansion or things along those lines my concern for Den target this stage is okay so cheese failed once right you got scouted he's got to feel a boost of confidence after the last match it was a cross map scout that he got scouted and he was able to repel some nice scv pull cheese so he knows he can win matches versus exit let's see what he pulls out here it looks like he's going gateway simulator first i think he's going to go uh, what we've seen from the mo thus far is skipping that zealot first going for Dragoon. The critical thing is, is he's done that several times, but he still hasn't gotten a big advantage of that oftentimes is when you have later scouts, you can stop that SCV scout from getting inside the base, right? And you can deny that information sometimes. But thus far, he's had many times that Dragoon out on the front and still that SCV slipped by or later scouting information for exit in these matches has snuck in. He's doing kind of the, I almost want to call give this a name. It's like the pyramid or the V or the greater than. Or is that the less than? I think that's the less than sign. It's like the less than defense wall. Marine can slide through the, the zealot can't and provide kind of that layer of protection. We do see that factory going down. Still three SCV on gas. So I think Exit's leaving himself open the opportunity to go three gate. Because this was an earlier SCV scout, we do see it's going to be able to slip in before this Dragoon's finished. Oh, actually, I take that back. SCV getting stuck there on that corner. That's the second time I've seen an SCV get stuck. I'm wondering if that is a misclick or on exit's part or if that's just a feature of this map. Players will let me know. Range being upgraded. Dragoon is going to pop out, but that SCV is going to be able to walk in and see just a single gateway and that range whirling. Second Dragoon on that way. Comparatively. So, and we are seeing two factory build now from exit. So potential two-factory push play. Let's see if he continues to produce Marines straight out of this after he gets those initial f three or four, tend to be typical, that Marine backing out. Dentarg saving up minerals to go ahead and plop down his natural expansion. It is building. So this opens up opportunity for Exit to pull something off. He's still got those SCV on gas. He is grabbing a machine shop, still has that second factory, but he is dedicating a bunker here. And having talked to Exit in chat, oftentimes he has said, let, you know, no build order. Uh, oftentimes just plays by instinct. SEV able to scoot around. Dragoon is going to be able to take it out. And he's moving this barracks to the forward position. And it looks like he is saving. So despite ooh, attacking his own SCV there, that's what you get, SCV. Get back to work. Double machine shop. He's saving some minerals, so I'm, and this is exit, so I'm not sure what to call here. He's got the 400 minerals. Is he going to go for the expansion, or is he going to continue to produce tanks? It looks like he's opting to produce tanks. He has lifted off the barracks. He's no longer building marines. So it looks like he's just going to stick you on two factories and build siege tanks. You never know with exit. We'll have to see. Dragoon's starting to hammer away at that bunker on the front. Second Dragoon is going to join it. And we are seeing three gateways now for Dentar. After this natural expansion, he's going to go ahead and grab a robo. So three gate observer, potentially, to follow this up. This SCV for exit 
did manage to sneak back around. It looks like it is going to be able to see that natural expansion being built. See what decisions he makes from here. Does he wait and save and build that natural expansion? Does he just build a ton of siege tanks and go from there? Siege tanks repairing. This is two tanks versus two dragoons. Winning fight for the siege tanks. And is he just going to just go for it, honestly? As far as a follow-up. Looks like he is, in fact, just going to go for it. Three siege tanks, three marines. The marines going to get peeled out. I like Dentkarg being in position to do some damage. Ooh, one Dragoon getting peeled off, though. This is three gateways worth of production up. It is possible for Exit to defend this. He still wants to do what damage he can while he's got kind of that range advantage. Exit wants to lead with those siege tanks. And kind of press. It looks like more SCV is going to join this fight. And we have mines being upgraded and vultures being produced to follow things up. Some Dragoons being pulled out to the left to go for a pincer attack, potentially. Some pylons to go ahead and blockade this out. Otherwise, a shield battery on the front. Tanks sieging up. And I take it back. Dentarg does not have much of an army. The Dragoons walking in behind this, but this is just too much damage. And no pulled probes to defend. So even with the shield battery here, he's going to end up losing this natural expansion. So ignore what I said. I thought he was going to have enough troops with those three gateways up to defend against this, but instead a bunker there, just too much damage. And I think Exit might have taken a quick game two with this two factory push. Second bunker is going to be up momentarily. Shield battery is not even going to be a factor here. Dentarg sitting back and piling up Dragoons, but is getting locked out of his own natural expansion and certainly going to end up losing this Nexus, although it looked like he was able to sneak another probe out from right there. That's an unfortunate way. And building an engineering bay out on the front. One to blockade for these siege tanks, but also just in case there were Dark Templar being produced in the background. There is a shuttle being produced. We do have a robotics with a support bay. But, but honestly, I'm thinking a little bit too little too late, especially with missile turrets already being planted. And Comsat, oof, over the wall. Jigoons are going to be able to pick off one of those siege tanks from the high ground. But Exit has already done significant amount of damage. He's kept up with his economy. So two Dragoons scooping up. Are they going to be able to get the low ground? Maybe if he can just... This is only three siege tanks. Maybe if he can just low ground walk all these Dragoons all the way around and make something happen there. Things are not looking good though. SCVs are returning to home base. Exit planting some siege tanks at his main just in case they're... So he knows the Robo's up, seeing that Observer, so he's going to back off, keep that contained there, but make sure he doesn't end up losing any more SEVs at his main. And it looks like he's walking out to go ahead and he's actually planting missile turrets before even grabbing his command station here, or his uh, second command center. Kind of unusual play. Dentarg wants to try to pull this by walking his... Actually, this is clever. So he's going to go ahead and elevator all of his troops down and maybe go for a counterattack with just the Dragoons and the Reaver and the Shuttle and potentially try to take out Exit Main. There's only three siege tanks defending there. And essentially kind of go for an end around kill. So turret up, command center is being built along the way. That's three siege tanks, a couple vultures. These vultures are starting to press forward. The Dragoon's eating some siege tanks. The Reaver not quite able to drop and provide some support. It's eating some shuttle damage. The Reaver does drop the shuttles down. And there's a single Marine in that. I don't know that it's going to be enough damage. This Reaver might be able to clear the front. There's still a siege tank attacking it from the north, unfortunately. So it's going to get wiped out. And there's GG from Dentarg. Exit's going to advance to the finals. Well played. So congratulations to Dentarg, nevertheless. Well played by Exit. With the early two gate play, he's going to end up Moving to the Chobo League Finals. And that, I gotta say, that was a bit of a disappointing exit there for Dentarg. The two gate, the two factory push, taking out the natural expansion. But, well played. Thanks for listening. We will catch the other side of the bracket, which I believe is, I'm trying to remember who's there. Uh, Rancor. I know Rancor's there. Rancor versus Grast. See, Rancor versus Grast on the other side of the bracket in a bit. Thanks for listening, everyone.